Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I filmed this easy spring makeup look. It has a really colorful look or er, blip. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I subscribe. Okay, so first I'm going to spray my face with Smashbox primer water, and then I'm also going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. I don't know why I'm making such a weird face though. Mix Dark Circle Concealer and Corrector in Light Slash Pale, and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes in a triangle shape to color correct any of the blue slash purple tones underneath there. And then I'm going to just blend it out with a Real Technique sponge. Make sure you get your sponge really damp and it will help add moisture to the area underneath your eye. It's really good if you're tired, it'll make you look more awake just because there's extra moisture. Forever's HD foundation stick. I love this. I've only been using it probably for a week now and I really like it. But I am in the color 125 and I'm just applying like little lines all over my face and then I'm just gonna blend it in with a flat foundation brush. Now I'm taking MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW15 and I'm going to be taking just a regular concealer brush basically and I'm going to apply that on the areas underneath my eyes in a triangle shape. I'm also going to apply it to my cupid's bow, my chin, the areas underneath where I'm going to put my contour and also a little bit on my nose and on my forehead. on my uh, Real Technique sponge just to add a little bit of moisture to make my face look fresher and I'm just going to blend that out like you'd regular regularly blend concealer and yeah
Estancia Beverly Hills Contour Drive. I believe um, this is in the fair, but I'm using the shade Havana, Bon, and Java. I'm just I'm going to put it on my cheekbones, underneath my um, chin, and all over my forehead. And then I'm going to be going in with the darker shades, and I'm just going to be reapplying it to my cheekbones just to give me that really structured contour on my cheek. Round, fluffy brush, and I'm just um, blending out my contour all over. I'm going to leave it a little bit more unblended on my cheekbones, but still pretty blended, but just not as much as everywhere else. Now I'm going to be powdering the areas that I didn't apply my contour with the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder, and I'm just going to put that everywhere I didn't contour my face. MAC Fix Plus all over because I have dry skin and I don't want it to look powdery. I'm going to be taking Porcelain and Custard from the Lorac Mega Pro palette and I'm going to be putting that on my inner corners and into the inner corner of my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Add Contour Kit, and I'm going to be taking that kind of warmish white color, and I'm going to put putting that all over my lid. White color, and I'm just going to be applying it to my lid even more, just because I was really tired and I felt like my eyes looked really dull, and I'm going to be taking the other white, and I'm just going to be mixing them and applying them to my brow bone, and then blending them all over my lid. Blending brush, I'm going to be applying that gorgeous peach color, and then the brown from the more neutral quad, and I'm just going to be putting it all over my crease. Um, Lorac Mega Pro Palette. I'm going to be taking that same blending brush and I'm just going to go in with Tawny and Burlap and I'm just going to mix those two with my brush and then put them all over my crease. Now I'm taking a blending brush that doesn't have any product on it and I'm just blending out any harsh lines. back into the Lorac Makeup Pro Palette I'm taking the color Cinnamon and I'm just adding that into my outer crease a little bit and just really blending it in. I'm going to be taking Melon and Tangerine and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease to add some more color and some warmth and to make this look re look really fun. I'm going to be taking 
taking that same color from like the warm neutral from the um, Kat Von D palette and I'm just going to be applying it just to add some more brightness to my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking MAC Cosmetics Gold Mine and I'm just going to be putting that on basically the inner part of my lid and then I'm going to be blending it out with the leftover shadow on my crease brush. And then I'm going to be taking the two white colors from the Kat Von D Eye Contour Shade and Light Palette and then I'm just going to be blending everything out with the same fluffy brush that I used earlier. Flat definer. I'm taking a flat definer brush and I'm putting the color tawny and burlap underneath my um, waterline or my lash line, whatever. And then I'm gonna be blending it out. I'm taking porcelain and custard on the same flat definer brush and I'm just putting it on the inner part of my lash line and then I'm just gonna be um, making sure my concealer and everything is very evened out on my um, underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna be lining my eyes and applying mascara which is very um, you know everyone knows how to do it so I'm not going to explain My mascara primer is the Cliss Booster XL from Lancome and then my other mascara is the Aqua Smoky Extravagant, the new mascara from Makeup Forever and it's waterproof which is the main reason that I bought it because I'm going on vacation soon so yeah.
blush brush and I'm going to be using Motives Cosmetics blush in um, the color Naughty. I'm just going to be applying that everywhere and then I'm going to go in with the new Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam and I'm going to be taking the shade Star Starburst and applying that on top and then I'm going to be blending it with a fluffy brush just so um, it could be more blended. I want it to look very glowy. I think it's a really pretty look for spring. another Real Techniques brush and I'm going back in with the Glow Palette and I'm taking Crushed Pearl and mixing it with Mimosa. This is such a gorgeous palette. I'm so happy I bought it. All the shades in this palette are so beautiful. Anastasia's liquid lipstick and basically applying it all over my lid I mean my lips and um, this is in the shade lovely and afterwards I'm going to be taking a MAC lipstick and that it's in the shade personal pick Now I'm going to go in and set my makeup with Urban Decay's setting spray and then MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and that you check out my other videos. Please subscribe and thumbs up this video. I will be making more of an effort to post a video a week. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Woo.